Hey everyone, it's Jordan from PictureMonk.com and I'm back with another video and this one is a little bit different from the other ones. This one is showing you kind of a cool resource that I found that will uh, that will allow you to better uh, time your photos, com uh, you know, do more uh, compositional research for your photos. Uh, anywhere you're going to go on a, maybe a trip and you want to, you know, you're a landscape photographer and you want to try to figure out a cool place to go uh, or, or you want to try to time your photo to get the best possible photo uh, that you can get, this is going to be a resource for you. So all it is is Google Earth. Uh, Google Earth has been around since dirt. Uh, it's been it's a it's a very very old piece of software, but you know Google updates it all the time and it gets really cool uh, really cool new features. And one of the ones that I found uh, about this in, in particular to this video is uh, is is finding a place and comp compositing your photo. So uh, let's just do an example here. Let's say I'm going to go to uh, photograph uh, El Capitan in um, in California so I'm just gonna type in L because I don't know how to spell Capitan <laughs> and I'm just gonna click on El Capitan and click search so what it's gonna do is Google's just gonna fly me in there and take me to where exactly El Capitan is so as, as you can see there is the mountain right there now we're getting the top view of it we want to get a, uh, a street level view so there's a way you can do that you can click this guy over here and do a street level view and drag them over here to some place but uh, the one method that I found that works best is to just zoom in as far as you can so I'm just gonna go ahead and zoom in all the way okay this is about as far as I can get down there and now I need to angle my view up to where if I was standing right here uh, I would be looking up and the way you do is just get the little uh, eyeball over here and just zoom up and now you can see the mountains kind of appearing. So I'm just going to take my slider here and position it to where I can see El Capitan right there. So now I know uh, I know exactly where it's located. I can see where it is. Uh, you know, there's a road right over here, and I can see where that is. Uh, but I want to try to composite this photo as good as I can. So I'm going to back up actually because uh, I know I want to get a better better angle. So I'm going to back up a little bit. And maybe let's do let's do that right there. Let's just get a little more wide angle right around there. So that's cool as it is. You can kind of composite your photo uh, and and just try to get a better composition as as you uh, as you're researching. But another cool feature I found is this weather icon right here. So what that'll do is let's say I was taking the photo today, I can scrub and see how the weather's going to change or how the how the uh, the the sky is going to change my photo. So, uh, if I'm taking a photo around 9:50 in the morning or one, or I'm sorry, 10 o'clock in the morning, you can kind of see how it's. Uh, and this is my time here, so uh, you can kind of see how that's uh, affecting the shadows right here on the on the mountain there. So if you get closer here, you can see it's starting to go down and get better lighting, maybe hitting hitting the side of the mountain here. So you can kind of research and then you can get completely dark and see uh, see where the Milky Way is going to be. You can see the slight Milky Way tail right there and just kind of, you know, play around with it. Uh, and then you can back up again if you're not liking that composition and uh, kind of move it up a little bit. So as you can see, there's there's many different options you can choose from with this. You can search all kinds of places around the world and get really cool, uh, really cool ideas uh, to for your next shoot or if you have one planned right now uh, you know uh, you, you know exactly where you're going to be on what day fire it up in Google Earth and see what the uh, what the lighting is going to look like so I hope you guys enjoyed that little quick tip there uh, it's a really cool program I've been using it more and more now that I found this so uh, thanks again guys for joining me in this video and I'll catch you in the next one